now to more local news tonight. Northeast Wisconsin is connected to the water with Lake Michigan defining the state's eastern shoreline. And because of that, shipbuilding took root and grew, especially in Sturgeon Bay, nearly 190 years ago. Now tonight, Chris Schuler of Local 5 takes a look at our rich maritime history and how that history is creating a strong future. As constant as the waves that break along the shore. Sturgeon Bay has been known for shipbuilding and sailors like Don Sarter. I just came from the locks with uh, that boat over there. Who's worked these waters for 45 years. I just fell in love with tugboats and barges and and the water, and I've been doing it ever since. Sarter co-owns a fleet of tons moored along the shipping channel, playing a critical role in this vital industry. They're the work, workforce of the moving ships. You need tugs in Sturgeon Bay to, to support the shipyard. Shipyards keep hundreds of people employed today and gave tens of thousands more a good life in the decades gone by. That's a remarkable story. At the Maritime Museum, the history of shipbuilding in Door County is on display. Shipbuilding was created here because of where we're located. From its beginnings back in 1830, as immigrant craftsmen took advantage of the waters to build boats for transportation and eventually industry. You look at the diversity of shipbuilding in its history is absolutely remarkable. From rowboats, schooners, tugs and yachts, minesweepers during World War II and Great Lakes freighters now, constructed according to museum curator Adam so, Kroenke by uh, dozens of companies. Base shipbuilding, um, PBI, Peterson Builders, um, Christie Corporation, uh, Latham Smith. All now gone, except for one. Bay Shipbuilding, which is the largest shipyard on the Great Lakes, and it, it does a little bit of everything. From new construction of 1,000-foot cargo tankers to boat repair or equipment conversion, Fincanteri Bay Shipbuilding is the only boat builder left, but remains one of Door County's largest employers. Our reputation is, is uh, something that speaks loudly in the industry. With a workforce that peaks at over 1,000 when the Great Lakes fleet sails in for winter repairs. We'll get 15 to 18 vessels that'll make their home here in Sturgeon Bay, and each and every one of them have, have got significant uh, projects on them that, that employ a lot of folks. It's a community where innovations like the marine travel lift and shipping containers were invented. They say 90% of everything comes out of shipping containers. And so you can trace it back here to Sturgeon Bay. Built by companies with employees with shipbuilding in their blood. It became something that generationally became just passed along. A place where the water allows sailors like Don Sarter to ride the waves. I love the water and I love the challenges of working on the water. Keeping it local in Sturgeon Bay where maritime history is made and preserved. Chris Schuler, Local 5 News.